I think the idea fleet farming came from uh, just the visualization, like the thought of a fleet of bicycles going down the road, um, a group of people distributing food. And right now, um, you know, the majority of our food is distributed by a fleet of semis that are emitting tons of CO2, traveling back and forth across the country. And so the idea of scaling that down to have a fleet of bikes was kind of where that came from. First of all, urban ag, can you can farm anywhere, really, in the city, in all different types of ways, but doing it in homeowners' lawns where you're involving the neighborhood, the community, everybody gets to take a sense of pride in the project. The homeowner becomes, you know, proud of hosting the farmlet. The, the farmers develop a sense of um, self-sufficiency and more pride in their knowledge about farming. They can go home, become home growers on their own, and so I think all around it does help create that sense of community too. So far, um, small farms, sustainable small farms, are producing 70% of the world's food right now. And so a lot of people think that industrial, commercial ag is the way of the future. You know, by 2050, they say we're going to have to produce 50% more food. But all of that, um, you know, pouring in chemical fertilizers, um, having large-scale monocrops where then you have to fight pests, you know, <laughs> like consistently with pesticides, none of that is helping to grow our the vitality of our soil. I don't think continuing to degrade our land with chemicals is ever going to be the solution. That's the most important part about fleet farming is that it's 100% volunteer run and the moment somebody begins to get paid to farm, it makes it seem like it's work. But when, you know, and then if you're doing it by yourself and you're just bent over picking lettuce all day long, it doesn't, it's not as fun. But when you, all of a sudden when you have 15 people out on the swarm ride every other Sunday and you're together in the sun listening to music, um, it becomes fun. And so I want anybody to be able to be a part of that. Not only does it hit on increasing food access, but you're getting people on bikes, you're getting people moving, and it starts to you know, develop a whole new appreciation for the meaning of healthy community. So I think there's lots of ways people can participate in fleet farming, whether it's just um, coming out and joining us every other Sunday um, for the swarm ride and learning how to farm um, as we visit all the different farmlets around the neighborhood, or um, starting their own chapter. I think the future vision of fleet farming is to have little um, kind of pockets and neighborhood captains that can run this program all over, whether it's here in Orlando or somewhere across the world in another um, urban area. Or, um, you know, if you do have a big sunny yard or a big area that um, we could grow in, hosting a farmlet is a great way to be involved as well. One of the best parts about leaf farming is that growing food is such a positive action. And in the environmental movement, there's so much that can be negative and so much that's about stopping something, about stopping fracking, stopping this, stopping that. But when you're growing food, it's just such a positive thing where you're promoting actually doing something. My name is Heather Grove, and these are my ideas. I believe that fleet farming can save food deserts.